Hello everyone and welcome back to another advanced machinery tutorial and today we're going to be looking at some just some other farms that you can build to chop down trees, grow some food, break some blocks, that sort of thing. Uh, I wanted to look at the different uh, recipes on this. So the vacuum hopper will grab stuff in an area and I think it's a 4 by 4 maybe or yeah I think it's a 4x4 four four area it'll grab stuff and just place it on top I'll show you how how uh, it works but uh, it's good for for these farms because these farms just pop stuff off except for the fisher the chopper for example just breaks the logs and throws them all over the place so the vacuum up you need the hot vacuum hopper to pick stuff up and to get it going into your system and the same with the auto farmer it just breaks the stuff in your field and you have to actually uh, grab it with your with the vacuum hopper so let's take a look at the recipes on this none of them are terrible except for the vacuum hopper requires the eye of ender so that's going to be a bit of a bit of a challenge to uh to get but other than that one the rest of them aren't too bad so I have ender and iron all the way around then on the fisher let's see where is it fisher not not terrible uh, blocks of iron blocks of redstone and a fishing pole as you would expect the uh, chopper a little bit more expensive you got two diamond axes and then the iron that goes with it but you know when at this point, you probably got your resources going, so that's not going to be that that bad of a deal. Now, the block breaker, uh, iron pickaxe with some iron and a block of redstone on that one. And then the farmer is two diamond hose, block of redstone, and iron blocks around. Again, once you get your resources going, that's not going to be any big deal. So let's take a look at each of these in action. Here I've got the chopper set up and the tree will grow and let me, let me, uh, you know, I need to go back to, let me go back to creative here. There we go. And let me get some bone meal. Oh, I just want to grow this tree here so you can see it. Oh, it did already. So now it'll chop it. Let's back up just a little bit here. There it goes. It'll chop it. Now you see all the stuff that's flying around here. Boom. The, that's what the auto hopper does. It grabs stuff in the area and then pops it on top. And then you just grab it with your conveyor and move it into your system, however that's going to be. Now this, I set this up here to show you a way to automate these bio generators. And I mean, honestly, I wouldn't even bother doing it. But it, there is a way, I mean, this is a way for you to do it uh, if you wanted to do it. Now, the steam generators, I wasn't able to get those automated. I'm going to look at that and see. But again, it's the same deal. Not really sure it's worth it because uh, we've got the lava generator that works well. The solar generators, those work super duper good. And, you know, once you get your resources going, solar generators aren't hard to, hard to uh, get at all. So... Yeah, so, but it, this does give you an idea how you could automate this. Uh, but like I said, this, this thing takes 100 RF per second, so, or per tree. So, you know, I'm not really sure that it's really all that worth, worth doing as far as the bio generators. But I mean, you can if you want. Now, obviously, if you're going to set this up as a tree farm, you don't want to use the bio generators because the bio generators will actually take the logs. And as you can see, the logs go into the, bio generator so if you just want to set up a tree farm just get your uh your hopper here your vacuum hopper here and your chest and a your hopper that sort of thing you know and get stuff in there and going so sticks obviously don't go into the thing so if you do set this up here you want to if you want to hang on to that stuff just do like i've done here and basically just capture what what doesn't go with into the system but uh as you can see saplings will go in there if it's not full and when your leaves decay i thought the 
I thought the chopper would chop down leaves as well, but it doesn't. So that it really doesn't work for the steam generators. But there may be another way of doing it. I'm I'm still looking at it, you know, just for just because <laughs> no other reason than that, really. But like I said, I don't know that it's really even worth it, but it's kind of a challenge and it's kind of fun to try to figure out. Now, this is the block breaker and the block breaker, if you if you uh, set it down. Now, this is another one of the blocks that has to be right clicked before you can place it because it's a directional block. But that's the front of it right there. So that's the that's what's going to break the blocks, this little uh a red square right there. See, that's the back of it. Nothing there. That's the front of it there. So that needs to be facing where you're going to be breaking your block. Now, what I've set up here is a is a um, basalt generator. Now, you can generate basalt by taking soil soil, not soil sand, but soil soil, and blue ice and putting it either on top or to the side with your lava and the, the combination of the soil and the blue ice will create, uh, whichever way you want to set it up, will create your basalt. And the reason I've got a, this, that's a hopper minecart going underneath it. The reason I got a hopper minecart going underneath there is so we can pull those blocks through the soil into the uh, hopper minecart and then dump it into the chest here. You can't just use a hopper because it won't. The hopper won't pull it through the soil. You have to use a hopper minecart. But as you can see, I mean, this thing just chunks right along. Look at this. It hasn't really been running that 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 long at all. And look at how much we've already got here. So this thing works like a champ. I mean, it's just cranking out the the basalt like crazy. And this is my own design here. Uh, but there's different ways you can do it. Yeah, basically it's just the blue ice, soil soil, and lava, that combination. You can put the blue ice on this side over here if you wanted to. I do it like this because what happens when the block breaks, it, it, it drops down into the soil here just a little bit. It kind of sinks down into it just a, just a little bit. And that's enough to keep it from dropping into the lava. And then the hopper minecart will pull it through the soil and dump it in the chest there. So. Really a nice little system. But if you want some basalt, that's the way to do it. Pretty simple, very simple setup. Okay, now the fisher is, you know, does fishing for you. You have to put it above a block of water. So that's why I've got it kind of set up here. And I've got the three chests here because you get a lot of junk. So you get a lot of stuff with this. It'll just basically does the fishing for you it drops it on top of the fissure. I've got the conveyor belts on the top there. The conveyors just push it into the hopper and it just drops down till it finds a place to go. So when this fills up, then, and this hopper fills up, then this chest will fill up. And then when that hop, this chest and that hopper fills up, this chest will fill up. But, oh, we've got 40 ink sacks in there. Oh, I don't know why they're going in here, but anyways. Yeah, they should drop. I don't, why did they do that? They should have dropped down to the bottom chest. No, they're going into that one. That's weird because the rest of this stuff. See, the rest of this stuff drops down like it should. See, there's, there's the fish. Huh, I don't know why that is. Hoppers in Bedrock Edition are, are very squirrely. <laughs> They're much more randomized than they are in Java Edition. So that's the problem with the uh, sorting system that you have on Bedrock because your hoppers are not synchronized. They're somewhat random. And so they do odd things sometimes that you won't have on the Java Edition. But anyways, that's the Fisher. Really simple, very simple. Just put it above a block of water and you're good to go. And then here we have the, the farmer. And it, as you can see, it covers this whole area here. And again, you put the vacuum hopper on top because the, the farmer will break the item. I've got the tick speed up a little higher. So just to, to show what how this works, it'll break the items on the ground 
and then the vacuum hopper will pick them up and throw them up on top. They'll drop down through the through the hopper here and end up in the chest. And as you can see, you get a lot of stuff. Of course, I got the dick speed up a little higher, so it's you're it's it's going faster than it would normally would. But as you can see, I've got each corner planted in a different item. There you can see how it picked up all this stuff. And it just chunks right along. And I mean, you're going to get a, a ton of food here in no time at all. So that it also includes the seeds. Uh, but it does replant, as you can see, it'll replant the items. So once you get them set up the way you want, it'll just continue to uh, to follow that pattern. So it works out real good. And these just kind of bounce back and forth because not everything goes through the hopper. See, it just, it doesn't sit there. That vacuum hopper will grab it again. So yeah, it's, it's the Bedrock Edition hoppers. I mean, that's really what it is, what it amounts to. So, you know, I mean, some of that stuff may despawn, but I mean, good gracious, look at that. It's a ton of stuff, so. It's not like we're going to be missing too much. That is for sure. So that really covers those little those little uh, items there. They're just sort of miscellaneous farms. Uh, the fisher, and they're all just, you know, you, you set them, you go, and uh, that's it, you know. You just come back and check it every once in a while. Um, the farmer, though, it really will, will do quite the job for you. And, and on the fisher, you want to probably do more than one chest because you, you're just going to get a ton of junk here that you don't really want. I mean, what you're really looking for is these books probably more than anything. Uh, and that's pretty. That's a pretty good book right there. That's got just about everything on it. <laughs> Quick charge. That's not a bad one, too. So, yeah, that's what you're mainly looking for is these books. You know, die. That's a good one, especially if you're on a on a skyblock world you know getting the squids ink sacks is, is a good idea um the bows you know oh this one's got flame and mending on it and infinity oh that's a you know i mean what do you go for infinity's great mending's great i would i prefer infinity myself flame mending flame mending so yeah, the bows are good to get. Bones, you get bones through this. and that's the, Now look at here. There's ink sacks here. But then there's ink sacks over here. Weird. Uh, the puffer fish are good for potions. And of course, you get your water, some water bottles here, which is once you get your potion set up going. I mean, you got you got a su steady supply of water bottles going in here. Puffer fish for underwater, if you have that sort of thing. I mean, I don't have it here. It would be useless. Uh, nautilus shells for your heart of the sea so i mean the fisher is really one of the one of the items to get uh, it's extremely worthwhile but you do get a lot of junk i mean leather boots who wants that stuff fishy poles yeah i mean you got the fisher why do you need the fishing poles you don't really need it and you know bowls uh, but you can what you can do with this stuff especially the enchanted items that you don't want you did make yourself a, uh, what's it called? That, oh, I can't think of the name of it. Not sure where it's at. That one, yeah, this right here, the grindstone. You know, make yourself a grindstone. And then what you can do is on this stuff that, you know, like you don't want that, uh, you know, let's say you don't want that. Quick charge two, quick charge one. Okay, let's say I'm gonna go for the infinity bow. So I'm not gonna use these. So what you can do is you, you place the stuff in here and uh, well, that's not gonna, yeah, that'll work. And what you do is you get, the, you get that uh, experience back, except for the curse, you don't get anything for the curses, but for for the regular stuff you know it's kind of a like a mini experience farm you don't get a lot of experience but i mean this is free stuff you're not you know it's just appearing out of thin air basically so i mean you know you might as well get it so get yourself a grindstone which is really 
cheap to make grindstone and just put it here by your fisher and then stuff you don't want that's enchanted you know uh you just put it in there and grab that xp so little mini xp farm all righty i think that pretty much covers these miscellaneous uh farms now there's there's some more farms that we haven't looked at yet and that's the uh passive and hostile uh spawners and we'll set those up in the next episode we'll set up the uh these spawner farms and uh in case you didn't know this know this the new tinted glass um is a is a new block that they've added in what's special about this is you can see inside of it but it doesn't let any light inside so so now we have a block that we can use for like mob farms you know so that we can see inside of it but in inside the the light level will be low enough so that it doesn't let any light in so once this is completely sealed up with tin and glass uh we have a light level of zero i'm assuming in there i think that's what it is and uh yeah we can use this to make mob farms and stuff which is really really great because in java there's uh several mods that give you dark glass that does the same thing it uh it blocks the light and we've had that in java edition mods for quite some time but now we've got it in vanilla uh minecraft and it's that's such a great addition i love that so tinted glass and that's made with glass with the um let me i'll show you the recipe on it that's made with glass and your amethyst shards which you get from processing sand if you remember so the amethyst shards you can make uh the tinted glass it's just one glass with the amethyst shards around it makes tinted glass and again that you can see through it but it'll block light so that's a great block really super nice block to have i, I love that addition because now we can make these mob farms and we can actually see inside and watch them which is always cool you know i always like doing that so all right so there we have it so next episode we'll do the mob farms and that I think is pretty much going to wrap up um, this mod pack. I mean, we've covered just about everything in here. So, yeah, that's just pretty much going to wrap it up, I think. And we may uh, make it end cake and go to the end just for grins. Why not, right? All righty. So I'll see you in the next episode. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye now.